And tonight, with the presidential election results still up in the air, Evansville police and River City citizens are cautious about the impending results that a final decision could spark. 44 News reporter Jake Thomas is live in Evansville tonight with what he found out today. Thanks, Brian. I went around the River City today and spoke to people about how they're feeling about the election less than 24 hours after the final votes were cast. Results taking longer than ever to come in. Many in the tri state are left feeling unsettled. I'm really nervous. Um, I've just been trying to keep my mind off of it because it's kind of been consuming my brain for the last. You know, ever since early in uh, the morning this morning. And those nerves extending to the Evansville Police Department, who says they're prepared for anything to happen, including protesting right here in the River City. We haven't got any information that leads us to believe that we will have mass rioting, that sort of thing, uh, depending on whichever way the election goes. Uh, having said that, we would be prepared for, for whatever might happen. The National Guard on standby throughout the country in case protests erupt. And though EPD says they aren't expecting any protesting or rioting to occur in Evansville, some in the River City say they are. I believe that they will protest. Um, I don't think it would uh, be violent at all. I don't think there, it would be destructive. Um, and I think it would be good spirited, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised to see protests. EPD says they're prepared for any type of outcry from the public. And they said a lot of their preparedness comes from having to handle protest over the summer. It's, it's actually stepped up our training. Uh, so with all those things together, it's, it's, I think it's helped us get ready for anything that might happen. And EPD said they have no problem with protesting, but they ask that if you do decide to protest, to do so peacefully. Reporting live in Evansville, Jake Thomas. 44 News.